I saw a butterfly in my garden Such a blessed way to start my morning Give your time Hey, it's me, Bray, and I'm back with another journal entry. And oh my God, since the last time we talked, so much has been happening. I'm like four months on T now, six months post-op, uh, top surgery. Um, my house is finally closed um, in the Bahamas, so I could officially move to Canada. Um, so that I start the moving process with that. Um, I just, me and my girl, we broke up. So I've been dealing with that and it's, it's been a lot, but it's no bad vibes, you know? Sometimes in life people, you know, want different things or, you know, need a break from everything. So, you know, I got my love for her and with her, I wouldn't have discovered my transness or non-binaryness and be able to have top surgery or, you know, all those good things. So I got my love for her, but you know, that's been hard, but I just been like diving into like exercising and you know just keeping my mind right and meditating and it's been like we, we broke up like in march and it's like may now so you know I'm, I'm a bit better and you know it's all good there uh last week i had kenalog shots so my scars were a bit raised like in the middle where i had like lipo and on this side uh, work i don't know from the beginning of my top surgery the side had gave me a lot of problems so when I emailed Dr. Duell and, and his team, they were like, you know, you need some catalog shots to, uh, cause you got hypertrophic scarring. So I went to a place in Buffalo called Lumin Luminescence Aesthetics and they hooked me up. I'm gonna show like the whole process. And I did like a short on here, but you know, I'm saying like, I was like, when I do my life update, I'm gonna touch on it. But there's actually a short of my time at the Lumin Luminescence, uh, place where I got my catalog shots. Um, it was really good. The numbing cream was amazing. I didn't feel anything. And no, I kid you not, like four days later, my scars started to flatten. I'm gonna put uh, some stuff at the end of the video like I always do so you can see. But yeah, that's been good. So already seeing like good results from it. So I don't think I'm going to um, have to need a second round, but we'll see. Still doing like I do Moderma and bio oil on it for right now. And I'm gonna get me some more silicone tape, but for the most part for six months, I'm very happy with it. And everything's starting to flatten now since I had the catalog shots. So if you're thinking about getting them, this is your sign to go get them. I think it was worth it. I paid $150 for mine. Um, the more work, cause I think each capsule like is like $25 and I needed it for my, my full double incision. So, I mean, I think it's worth it. Um, far as like updates on T, four months on T, obviously you see my voice is, has dropped a lot. My beard is insane. Like you can legit see it from, from front on. I'll put some videos at the end so you can see it, but you know, my voice is dropped. I'm super horny all the time. I have hair everywhere, like all on my stomach, all on my legs. <laughs> like, um, it's crazy. Like, it's really crazy. So, so right now, you know, I saw my endo like two days ago and because the results have been so good, like she's telling me like a lot of other trans people she know, the up the like the beard and the body hair like they've been on it for years and they haven't had that so she doesn't think that i should up my doses and i don't think it is i should either so um still on a low dose so far and i'm gonna stay on it and because you know i love my results i love the body hair um last time we spoke i was having problems with like deodorant i'm using dove spray chef's kiffs i have the sports protection it's like lasts like for 48 minutes um far as that like that's all my updates for tea i have some bottom growth it's not crazy but it's it's there so i'm happy with that i, I also think um at some point i might get a toy or something but <laughs> um far as like you know being horny and stuff it's just like it's starting to increase but um far as top surgery i just that was just um the catalog shots was the only really update I have because it's like I'm hitting the six, six month mark and I saw that it wasn't going down. So from now on, you know, I'm going to continue to massage my scars and use the bio wall and the silicone tape and all these different things until it's completely flattened. 
and I'll give you an update in about a month or so because I was supposed to go back in four weeks to get a second round of Kenalog. So four weeks from now, I'll give you an update on how that's going. Um, I changed my stage name from Brooklyn West to Mabay and um, it's feel amazing because I, I changed my government name, my dad name to Bray. So that's what I'm going to tell people. But I, I didn't connect with Brooklyn West no more because it, it reminds me of when I was making music as a lesbian and I'm more queer now and I'm more sure of myself and um, Bay and my country is how they use like, hey B, hey cuz, it's like, it's genderless. It usually, it, it originally was for boy, but um, we started saying Bay. So um, instead, so be like, what you saying Bay? Like everything cool, but it's like genderless and I always sit right with me and Summers, I used to go um, work at my aunt's hair store in the Coles, and her husband would call me my boy. So it's like my boy, like because you a boy, but a girl. So I like my boy, and I, I feel like I sit with it because you know I feel genderless. I feel sometimes I feel like a princess, sometimes I feel like a prince, or uh, you know. So I always feel like both sides of the scale. So sorry, my voice crazy. Um, my boy is my new stage name. So. My new government government name is Bray, and my new stage name is Mabay, and it's already starting to update it on streaming sites, so I'm very, very excited about that. So as my fans, you know, you could call me Bray, or you could call me Mabay, or you could say, like, hey, Bay, like, you know, I'm an answer. Uh, so that's really it. You know, um, I shot the music video for the song you hear in the beginning that I saw, Butterfly in My Garden. That was amazing. I shot it in Buffalo at the botanical gardens is so beautiful um so i should drop the music video for that soon i've been in the studio um because it's I, i've been taking a break because my voice is changing but now i'm getting at a comfortable place where i could like you know hit certain notes so i'm about to start making some new music so up next now that i knocked out my catalog shots got my endo update i should know what my t results are going to be um in since four months has passed because she says she wants to get me in the 500 1000 area she says that's good for like non-binary people so that's what the goal is as far as he goes but now that i got all that serious stuff out of the way i'm about to be low-key and move to canada and that's that's been what all this is for so i'm excited to you know move it's a toss-up between montreal and ontario like toronto right now um um, I hope I'm saying that right, but that's where I'm at right now, either Montreal or Toronto. So I'll, I'll know that soon, but I am about to start packing and I cannot wait for my new life to begin and to get this new music out and just to start living up my skin as me. But that's her, your journal entry. Everything's been good. Everything been nice. And I'm, I'm feeling amazing. I love y'all. And if y'all have anything y'all want me to talk about, put it in the comment section and or send it to me on Instagram. I'll I'll get to it. I love y'all. Bye. <laughs> I come from an island, all pretty girls and pink sun. Oh God, Brooklyn. Pretty girl from Ghana, me really love your style. Pretty girl from Ghana, me love the way you wind up. You wind and turn me on. You ride it. I'm actually super excited to see what my T levels are now. Um, last time I was here is like maybe two months ago, so I'm excited to see him where I'm at now. So my endo says everything looks good. She likes where I'm at um, on the low dose, so we're not gonna up it. And I like where I'm at, I like the results. I already got a beard, body here, all that stuff. So she's gonna keep me on it and I'll be back in like three months. They give you this cool little thing. Um, and she wants to get my T levels between the 500 and 1000. She says that's good for like non-binary, so um, I'll do my blood work this time and then by tomorrow I should know where they're at now. So I'm excited, everything's been going amazing and it's been a beautiful, like, this is like euphoria for me.
She wanna 